Now, I want to tell you guys something because you guys always think I'm this perfect little angel. I am not flawed like a mother effer. One of the things about me and one of my um, toxic traits, I believe, is I have abandonment issues. So um, bad to the point where, like, I couldn't be alone. And you know what's crazy? I went to therapy. I started going to the gym. I started spending a lot of time alone. Literally isolated myself from everybody to the point where now I have anxiety when I'm around too many people. When I'm around so many people that I have to talk too much, it gets me flustered. Sometimes I'll get too quiet or sometimes I will ramble for a while and then I'm low on energy. Y'all, when I tell you I have a sense of peace that I never had before, like the silence in my house is crazy. The only thing you can hear is the air fryer because i'm making food that's all i do smoke try different recipes make different foods record videos and that's it like that's my life and i go to the gym when i tell you if you're the type of person who has abandonment issues you don't like to be alone it's going to be very hard it is not easy you will cry you will have panic attacks and some people might not even have these type of symptoms you might be okay in your daily life and all of a sudden it hits you you might be the type of person to always call somebody over hey come hang out with me let's do this let's do that Learn to be by yourself. The reason why I say it's better to learn to be alone, because when you're alone, you figure out what you like and don't like. Then when you're around people, you'll know you're around people because those are people who deserve to be in your life. You don't just have random people around you because you need to be alone. You'll keep the wrong company because you're miserable. Misery, be, loves, misery loves company. So please be careful when I tell you that. Also, another thing, when you're alone for a long time, all you will hear is your own thoughts. So guess what that does for you, especially if you do the right self work the right way. It'll only give you one option to heal and be better. So when I tell you being alone is the best thing you could ever do, don't be the type of person to hop from relationship to relationship to relationship. And also don't be the type of person that can never say I've never been alone. How do you know what you like? How do you know you're not just getting with people because you're bored or because you're lonely? Like I said, being alone does wonders for you. And also... Before you even get into relationships, you want to be financially stable. You want to be happy. You want to have your trauma down to a minimum. You're never going to be fully healed, but you know you can try. If your life is chaotic and you are going crazy in your head, suicidal, whatever, you're not okay, why are you inviting people into that space? You're not even fucking safe. I love you. I care about you, but you got to care about yourself first. If anybody didn't tell you this, I'm proud of you. You're deserving of love. You're deserving of love. Don't invite anybody into your life until you are okay mentally, until you are okay sharing your life. Because when two happy people collide, that's magical, baby. Two chaos, chaotic people come together. What does that make? Not a miracle and not happiness. So please love yourself. Learn to be alone because there's a beauty in being alone, baby.